Hello my friends and business partners from around the world, welcome to my channel. My name is Rafael, I'm an electrical engineer and bilingual teacher of mathematics and physics here in Brazil. And on this video, I'd like to speak with you guys about magnetic circuits. And to do this, I brought to you this exercise. Let's read the exercise. The figure shows an iron core whose mean path length is 40 centimeters. Then this path here is 40 centimeters. There is a small air gap here of 0.05 centimeters in the structure of the otherwise whole core. The cross-sectional area of the core is 12 centimeters squared. The relative permeability of the core is 4,000, okay, 4,000 times that of free space. And the coil of wire on the core has 400 turns, okay? If we assume that the fringing in the air gap increases the area by 5%, okay, let's calculate, then the problem says, Calculate the total reluctance and letter B. Calculate the current required to produce a flux density of 0.5 Tesla in the gap. Okay, my friends, this is what we are going to do. And let's calculate this. What we want to accomplish in letter A is to calculate this. We are going to have a magnetic circuit of the sort. Okay, here the force in term is the magnetomotive force, that is the reluctance of the core, and here the reluctance of the air gap, and as normal uh, electric circuits, that is going to be here a flux in normal electric circuits flows the current and here what flows is the flux okay what the problem wants us to calculate is the reluctance of the core and the air gap and we are going to use that now okay so how to calculate the reluctance of the core we simply multiply LC here it was given to us uh, as 40 centimeters. We are going to pass it to meter and it becomes 0 0.4 meters. Okay, now we are going to use the permeability. The permeability of iron is 4,000 4, times that of free space. And the permeability of free space is 4 times pi times 10 to the minus 7 Henry per meter and here we are going to multiply it by the cross-sectional area of the core which was given to be 12 centimeters squared we are going to put it in, in meters squared 0, 0, 12 meters squared okay are you guys understanding and I already used my calculator and uh, I discovered that uh, the reluctance of the core is, is equal to 66, uh, 314.56 ampere turns per Weber. Okay, friends, now we know this, now we are going to calculate the reluctance of the air gap. The reluctance of the air gap is going to be a little bit different because we have to consider this, the fringing effect in the air gap and it's going to increase the area by 5% and we have then to multiply the area by 1.05. Then let's do it. Let's just calculate it. Okay, then 0.05 centimeters become 
meters, we have to convert it to meters, and the air gap has the permeability of free space, okay, times pi times 10 to the minus 7 Henry per meter. Then we have, we have to multiply it by 1.05 because of this, we are going to have to convert it. And then we multiply by this zero here, the cross section, no here, just like we did there, 0 0.0012 meters squared and I already did this calculus and I found the number equal to uh, 31 5 7 8 3.6 315,783.6 ampere turns Ampere terms per Weber. Okay, these are the numbers that we are going to use. And uh, we have to add them up. And uh, when we add them, we find uh, the total reluctance. The total reluctance will be the sum between these two numbers. Okay, the sum of these two results. And this is going to be equal to... This number here already did it, and we can find that the total the total reluctance is three hundred and eighty two thousand zero ninety eight ampere turns per Weber. Okay, this is the total reluctance, the response. Okay, the response of letter A. Now, what the problem wants us to calculate is the current. The current is going to be equal to, I'm going to put it here, we have the magnetomotive force, which we know is equal to the reluctance times the flux. But the magnetomotive force is also dependent on the number of turns and the current, okay? We are going to use here the total, the total reluctance, and we are going to use here the fact that phi is equal to B times A, okay? In the place of phi, we are going to put B times A, so B times A is equal to N times I, alright? Do you get it? Okay, so I is going to be equal to B times A divided by N. All right, and I already calculated it, okay, I already calculated it. You can check it yourself. It is going to be equal to 0 0.0602 amperes. So, my friends... We can use here, we, we, uh, we found these values here, these are the responses of the problem, and here you put it to be 0 0.5, 0 0.5 Tesla, you have to do this, you have to multiply it by 1.05, and here this A is exactly this A, the cross-sectional area here, the cross-sectional here, and then 400, and you can easily get to this, you can easily find exactly what I found. My friends, this was the video that I wanted to make about magnetic circuits. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please try it yourself and check. If I made a mistake, please comment about it. And if you want to talk to me, if you want to have any kind of conversation and do any kind of job that you want with me, I'm going to leave my number in the description of the video and you can contact me. My friend, this was the video. Goodbye!